Hi, this is Kathleen from Bailey Academy, Mom of Five, homeschooling three of them, ages 9, 12, and 16. Uh, today I just wanted to share with you our um, possible school routine for the 2023-2024 year. I say possible because I'm still tweaking it, but I think I have it the way I want it. Before I share what it is with you, I wanted to let you know why it might seem heavy. There are different people that homeschool different ways, and those are all perfectly valid. Um, You'll often hear people talk about you should should be doing homeschooling, not school at home, um, meaning that it shouldn't be replicating a classroom in your home. Now that could mean a couple different things, and I'm not sure if I guess what we are doing might co might constitute school at home. But despite what some people say, it's okay to do that if you want, as long as you're tailoring it to. They just mean don't like do exactly like they do in the classroom at home because why did you homeschool? You didn't homeschool so that your kids could get it exactly the way they did at school. So I tailor the education to my children's levels, to their interests, and to what works with our family. So I'm, even if it's still considered schooling at home, I don't know, tell me what you think when you're done hearing this video. <clears throat> this is what's going to work for us, I'm sure. So the things I had to keep in consideration when I was creating the schedule was one, my kids prefer to have a written schedule up on the wall. It doesn't have to have times necessarily, but it has to be like, we do math and then we do language arts or we do science on these days and social studies on these days or whatever the case is they they need a schedule um they're both adhd and i'm my reading has told me that those kids especially need routine so that could be why but regardless of what the reason is they need routine so i want to make sure that we have a routine and that we have a schedule you know not down to the last minute but just so i call it more of a routine i guess than a schedule um and so we started school at 9 a.m. this past year. We're going to start at 8.30. We started at 9 because my oldest one that goes to school, goes to public school, um, my oldest girl goes to public school, um, she was getting ready for school, and so it was hard to focus on school while she was getting ready for school to leave. She leaves around 8.30, um, though, so I think that we'll be okay to start right as she's leaving or just, be just before she's leaving um, because we need to get, we want to get started earlier so we can be done earlier and also just to make sure we fit everything in. So I have written down that I'm going to start school at 8.30, which means I'm going to wake the kids up at 7.30. Uh, we've been very lax. In general, I would not care if we homeschool in pajamas or whatever we sleep in. We don't really sleep in pajamas here, but whatever we sleep in. Um, and, you know, I didn't care if they had breakfast first and stuff like that. And that might work for lots of families, but uh, my kids will just not put clean clothes on and not have breakfast and not brush your teeth ever so I need to have some sort of schedule so at 7 30 to 8 30 you get up you put on clean clothes you brush your teeth you brush your hair you put on deodorant if you wear it take your medication and have breakfast am I forgetting anything if there's any kind of morning chore that needs to be done most of our chores are done later but if there was anything that needs to be done in the morning or somebody needs to put their laundry in go ahead and do that be ready for school at 8 30 so School starts, we always do announcements. I have a video, a very short, like a, literally a short uh, video of uh, why we do announcements and what we talk about during announcements. Um, again, not trying to replicate school, just it's basically just a quick synopsis of our day, but you can, I'll link below the video. Again, it's a, it's a little YouTube short, so it's very short of uh, explaining why we do announcements. <clears throat> and so basically just, uh, you know, what's coming, how many appointments, what, what we're doing that day. And then we do what we call our morning basket, which is not quite the same as what everybody else calls a morning basket. Uh, we have, this is our stuff that's extra, that's not an everyday thing. Um, we have a different subject or different category for each day. So we have math, sorry, my cat's being naughty. We have math Monday, so we're gonna do um, a math puzzle or a math problem or a math game, something math related on Monday. This is separate from their normal math. Um, Tuesday, we've been doing poetry tea time Tuesday. We may not do poetry each time, but we call it tea Tuesday anyway. We have tea. If we have some nummies to eat, we eat that. Um, sometimes we read poetry. Sometimes we do fun quizzes. Sometimes we do, um, we share something that we're learning with the other kids in our homeschool because like my older one does different stuff from the younger two. Like we all do this part together, but then she goes and does something else. Um, so that gives her a chance to share. Um, so we do different stuff, um, but yeah, it's tea time Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, I'm calling it what I want Wednesday. And we're basically gonna work on a passion project. 
If you aren't familiar with a passion project, it's basically just um, an independent study, but your child chooses what they want to study, and each of your children does not study the same thing unless they, of course, want to. So, for example, my oldest has already been told about this, and she's planning to do astronomy because she did astronomy in grade nine and no ten yeah grade ten um and she loved it and she doesn't have room in her schedule to have an astronomy second class plus i don't know if i could find like a second level of astronomy so she's gonna be her passion project so she's going to during uh what i want wednesday for that short period of time but also for her because she's more in depth with things she's gonna have time on fridays um she's going to uh <clears throat> She's going to, you know, they, they're all going to, they're going to pick their topic, what they want to learn about, something that they're already interested in, and then they learn on their level so that they can check out books in the library, we can do research on the computer, they can, they can write down what they've learned, they can draw pictures and diagrams, maybe work on a, like a final project of some kind at the end of the year by working on it all year, or maybe half the year if they want to change their passion project halfway through the year, but they're supposed to work on a long term. Look up passion project, I'm still kind of finalizing how we're going to do it. Um, so that's what I want Wednesday because I wanted it to be a w word. And then we have critical thinking Thursday, which we did last year. And I should have a video, which I'll share down below of how we, uh, did critical thinking last year. Although I have some other, and, and how we're going to do it this year is with a critical thinking company book. Um, and amongst other things, we're going to like mix it up. And then Friday is philosophy Fridays. And so, um, we're going to be, uh, using philosophy for kids which I mentioned in a previous video, um, and I think we'll link that one down below too for you. But basically, it's an amazing book that teaches philosophy at a kid's age level, um, and you do it together, like gathering together style. So you read the information and you discuss it and they answer the questions and like, but it's philosophy, so there's not really wrong answers. So that's gonna be fun. After that, we have a little bit of extra time that if there's a holiday coming up, or a holiday that day and I have a specific activity I want to do for that day we will do it that day and then if there's no holiday or extra activity that I want to be doing then I will have a non-fiction read aloud um, so that would be like reading a book with you know um, short stories about girls who did something brave or reading an animal facts book or things like that <clears throat> and uh, that will all be sitting for that then my oldest my oldest homeschooled child I should say goes off and does her work independently or she can sit at the table but like she does her own work and then I'm going to do read aloud for whatever book we're currently reading aloud like fiction wise and then Monday and Wednesday it'll be science geography and gym and well there's gym every day so science and geography and Tuesday and Thursday will be history and health and Friday is art and music we're gonna put those together and gym every day um weather permitting we don't have a lot of room in our house but we'll try our best to be active every day and that gives us a two hour span to do all that in so it sounds like a lot but it's no more than two hours and lunch is at 11 30 to 12 15 so i'm again we just choose we doesn't work for us to not have a specific time so lunch time if they don't want to eat lunch or their lunch is a lot quicker than that time to make and eat that's fine they can do they can go outside again they can play play-doh they can build with blocks they can well <laughs> I mean like I have little like math blocks that they like to play with um they can do anything as long as it's not electronics because uh, my kids are addicted to electronics and they use it way too much so there are no electronics in the morning no electronics at lunch no electronics until I say otherwise which will be a certain time we'll talk about that in a minute after lunch at about 12 15 they do their independent work so I'm still working with my rising grade four to but my rising grade seven will be doing hopefully most of this on his own. So there's be math, then language arts. My youngest one will be doing handwriting because she still needs to work on that. And my uh, rising grade seven wants to learn Korean. So he's going to start on that, which will almost be like handwriting because he's got to learn to make the characters. Um, I have a video below sharing when I'm doing Korean and with a, I have a video walkthrough uh, to show it. So that'll be linked below. Um, and then we'll be doing French. And then we're going to be doing computers studies on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and social skills studies Thursday, Friday. Those are both, or well, sorry, for my youngest one, the computer one is on e Easy Peasy Homeschool, the website, All in One Homeschool, and social skills is on there too. And my oldest one will be doing his own computer work, like working on coding, or I'll be teaching him things like he doesn't know yet, like Canva, but he's very computer 
uh, oriented and knows some even more than me in some regards about computers. So I know there's no point in having him doing, you know, how to save a file because he's known that since he was like four. Um, and at three o'clock or well before that, whenever they're done, they're done for the day. But at three o'clock, they can go on electronics. So the reasoning for that is because it used to be when you're done your work, you go on electronics and then they would race through the work and it'd be messy or done wrong or just it's not their best work. So now, even if they're done, they say 12, 15 is when they start. Even if they're done at one or two, that's fine. They can have free time, but they're not going electronics until three so that it'll help them manage their electronic time and get more done and make sure they're doing a good job. Um, I'm not accepting messy handwriting anymore. Um, so it needs to be legible. So I'll make them do it again if I need to. And hopefully just take a few times of that before they learn to do it right the first time. And then because my paper said it, I have dinner after that and bedtime written in. I'd show you the paper, but it's a scratch, scratch mess. <clears throat> so that's our schedule as of right now. I believe that's going to be our schedule for the two younger ones and the morning routine will be including the, the older one. And I hope that works out. Now, if it does sound like a lot to you, let me know. Um, I might pair back, but at the same time, like I said, my kids need, um, if I just let them do school, if we do like the, okay, school in two hours. Yeah, we could, we did it last year. We did school in two hours, but then they just go on electronics. They will literally will do nothing else. If I don't let them on electronics for that long, they just will sit there and pout. But yes, I know it's ridiculous. Um, working on that. So, for them, I think it's better to keep them busy because it's not like, okay, well, like maybe your kid does school in two hours, but then they go do sports or they do piano lessons, or even if they just have free time, they, you know, are reading or studying things or um, being creative. My kids need direction to do those things. So by doing these things together and having a longer school day, I think it'll be a better roundabout education for them. Um, it's still not quite school at home because we're still doing, you know, you do your math and you do your math. And when we're doing things together like science um, or health, it, not all of them will be exactly together. They might be like, you do this activity, you do this activity, but we're together. Um, I'm still figuring that all out. But we usually do science. Well, we did social studies last year, but now that my one is going to grade seven, we're going to split it up into history and geography, even for the younger one. So, um, science geography history those ones uh will be done as a unit study but like not it's not really a unit study because it's just for science or just for history but meaning like you know say in april we're going to do of next year we're going to do titanic for history so that month we will do all titanic activities together and that'll be our history topic for that month <clears throat> sorry <coughs> i think that's all i wanted to say um check out all the links below let me know what you think of my schedule um, and if you think anything and like please share your schedule what kind of schedule are you doing if you have a video of your schedule please share in the links below i'd like to see everybody's schedule for the new year new school year thanks and have a great day